right, Taurus, welcome back. This is going to be a um, August 5th to the 7th reading. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Moon, 5th to the 7th of August. 5th to the 7th of August for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Moon. This is for Taurus. Give me something from August the 5th to the 7th. Clarify this energy. What is this healing, spiritual awakening, sing, single, and travel card with all of this energy here? Yeah, we have the Four Swords and the Eight of Swords. So I feel like, first of all, you're sleeping a lot. You're resting. You're getting a lot of sleep here. I feel like you feel paralyzed, like you can't get up. You feel burdened or weighed down. Something keeps playing, replaying in your mind or something keeps, you're, you're stuck on something or you keep replaying something um, over and over with the Four Swords. Especially when you're asleep or you have a reoccurring dreams about something or you keep, um, maybe, okay. Yeah, we have the high priestess. It could be a Piscean or, so, or, or something like that. Okay, yeah, and the Empress. Okay, Taurus, all right. So some of you could be um, spiritualist or or it could be something about a Pisces or a Libra, okay? But I feel like you look beautiful. You could be getting your hair, nails, or feet done here. You could be doing something for yourself. If you're a male, it could be a haircut or anything that groomed yourself for a woman, your lashes, your hair, your nails, or whatever this is that's going on here, okay? But I am getting like you're resting or I'm getting like you're, you're something keep replaying in your mind. This could be something that somebody knows or it could be this, this intuitive. But I'm getting this is a high vibrational energy here. Yeah, we have the nine of cups. And the world. Okay, what is this? You have the strength card, Leo Pisces energy. And we got the cancer. So I'm also getting like something ends abruptly, somebody's success with the six of wands reversed and the ten of swords, something just ends with somebody's career. Yeah, this is justice or something changed drastically in somebody's views or how or, or, or something, something changed. But I feel like this is karma because somebody tried to affect somebody else's career or do something fucked up to them and they laughed about it or they thought it was funny. Okay, so, you know, the justice, the scales are always going to be balanced. This is what my guides are telling me. I'm going to put the six of wands upright, though. But I feel like something just go, just, or you stop giving somebody attention. You stop following somebody or somebody stop following you, following you, watching you or anything like that. Because I feel like with the ten of swords, somebody betrayed or stabbed somebody in the back or did something fucked up to somebody, just period. But with sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning and unsure of the future, I feel like somebody's unsure. But yeah, girl with a snake and then snake. Somebody's a snake. And, and, and with the lightning card, it says sudden change, shocking new surprise, epiphany. There's that epiphany word again, upheaval and transformation. Something has been realized here. And someone's going to stop the pattern, cut somebody off, give somebody the silent treatment, block somebody or reject them because some, some something's grinding. Yeah, palm tree and keys on the ring, bolt and receive. You're not receiving what you, it's like somebody wants to rebuild something, but they still have all these options. So you're moving on and closing something out good. But I feel like somebody's still stalking you and watching you here with the three days and the stalker. What is the four of swords and the eight of swords? Like, but I feel like you're replaying something or you feel paralyzed or stuck or you're sleeping a lot or you feel heavy or tired. What's the four of swords and the eight of swords? For Taurus, I just feel like you keep thinking about something here. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's like hard for you to get your win, hard for you to get excited or motivated or get up or something like that. Maybe this is about exercise and maybe you know you need to exercise, but you're not. You're just kind of lazy. You're sitting there. You feel stuck. You feel weighed down. You're very much in your head about something. Something keeps replaying over and over in your head, especially when you're idle or some shit like that. We have the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like something could be a bit of a struggle where it's hard or something's inconsistent or very much up and down, which is causing a stress or struggle for you. I hope this isn't something that you did to somebody else and it's coming back on you because they keep saying that. Whatever you do comes back on you. Have a good heart. Come from a genuine place and be happy for people. But don't expect to try to ruin other people's shit and then you're going to have good luck in yours. Not only will it come back on you, but it's going to be 10 times worse than what you put out to somebody else. Okay, we got the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like something is just, I don't know, is what is weighing heavy on you here. Okay, yeah, the strength card in the reverse, Leo energy, okay? We got Pisces, could be a Libra or could be you, okay? But I feel like this is like, this is like cowardly. This is a coward. This is somebody who has no backbone. This is somebody who 
is not loyal or trustworthy. This is somebody that um, could be undergoing some kind of ego death. I just feel like you feel weak here. You're trying to get your footing or the strength or the excitement, but you just don't feel like it. I don't know if it's because somebody knows something. What's the high priestess in the... Um, um, the high priestess and the um, the empress here. Yeah, there's something going on behind yeah, the moon and the six of wands. Somebody's being hidden or their success or something like that. Okay. Somebody could be hiding. Yeah, somebody's doing something. Yeah, the ten of wands. What's the high priestess and the, um, and the um, empress? We have the six of pentacles. So somebody could be patronizing you um, for your work if you're a reader or something. Somebody could be patronizing you. And we got the seven of cups. Okay. So I feel like, yeah, somebody could be paying you for your services or somebody's like, um, or you're definitely paying somebody to do something for you, to beautify you or do something for you. Or to give you some kind of eight information or read for you, or this is you. You have the seven of cups, but I feel like you don't know who it is. It's coming like from a secret person. You're like, is it this person? Or how does somebody know this? Or how does somebody know that I'm patronizing them? Or how does somebody know that this is, you know, whatever? Yeah. Okay. We have the three of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, and the two of pentacles. Let me see. So it's like something drops majorly. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, something slows down or something drops majorly from the Queen to the Two of Pentacles. Something changes drastically here. Yeah, the Moon. I feel like somebody's calling you or paying, patronizing you from an account you don't know or behind the scenes or in secret. Somebody's doing something here. This is somebody that secretly follows you or somebody that you thought stopped following you or or this is you. I am getting so yeah the ten of swords the the emperor and the justice. I'm definitely getting somebody getting justice in their career or they're getting karma. Whatever the fuck this is, okay, they'll be dealing with the Libra. And what's the seven of cups and the six of pentacles? Okay, we have the um yeah we have the three of swords. So I feel like some there's some kind of liar here. There's that missing card again. Sadness, missing you thinking about you. That's like the three of swords, a separation, a breakup. Okay. But yeah, the two of wands and the temperance, Sagittarius energy. It's like you want to take the higher road or do something right. Or there's this decision that you make that is right on time. I feel like if somebody was trying to lie or do something or, or um, somebody was like, I, I don't know, because that three of swords, you have the five of swords doing something hateful or grimy. You have the high font and the nine of swords. Yeah, I feel like this could be a corporation, an entity, or this could be somebody you're married to, or this is you, Taurus. You're doing this. You're worried. This is clarifying you. You're doing something hateful to somebody, and then you're worried about it. Or you're lying to somebody, or you're, you're, you, you did something fucked up here that has you feeling guilty about a situation. And I'm going to say you because this is your card in the middle. But it could be the other person. You pick what side, okay? Because Taurus is a loving and peaceful sign, you know? But that, that, that doesn't mean every single Taurus. I like Tauruses a lot, like a lot. That's one of my favorite signs. But that doesn't mean that every single one has a good character. And I feel like somebody's doing hateful. Somebody was genuine, honest, loving, caring, peaceful with you. Or um, something was a good choice, but you were doing something hateful. Or you were doing something fucked up here. Something fucked up is going on here. I feel like it was going on behind the scenes. Now, now you're feeling guilty about it or remorse. Yeah, somebody's hateful. This could be this could be something to do with school. This could be uh, or, or, or a college or something like that. Yeah, what is this um this energy here of somebody? Yeah, the six of wands. So this could be somebody you're following or something. Yeah, the six of wands, the ten of swords, the emperor. So I feel like you try to ruin somebody's career. And they're getting justice or it's coming back on your ass. Or somebody tried to do this to you. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is definitely about um, being followed or something. I put it in the upright. I definitely had... Uh, it was in reverse. So, I feel like somebody's worried about... Like, somebody's not getting the success or recognition. But I feel like this is karma with the justice and the emperor. Somebody tried to affect somebody's career, dog. Or, or do something fucked up. Yeah, the justice. So, I'm going to extend this and see exactly what they tried to do or how this is going to play out. Make sure you go click the link. 
to my Vimeo, guys. In the description box, the comment section, in the community tab.